What's up everyone? This is Rickerman coming to you with some Pillars of Eternity 2. I'm going to be continuing the uh, campaign here from uh, the previous video that we had on YouTube. I don't know that we've actually done a pre premiere for that one on Twitch, but uh, we shall go from there. Okay, that is good to go. Let me know how the sound is going. It sh looks like it should be going pretty well. So, uh, w last time we got a new companion here, uh, Jati, Chachi, uh, who is a priest. So we've got a nice healer going on. Um, we do have a mission to go and check out what occurred um, at uh, sort of a children of the dawn stars i wondered if we'd run into a place where here. aethys had been seen so but uh we're gonna check around town here see if maybe there's more companions you never know the children of the dawn stars are red siren followers of aethys who have traveled to the dead fire archipelago as migrant workers in the decades following the saints war dawn stars can often be found in the employ of the valian trading company or Royal Dead Fire Company. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Oh. Just a friend, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Both grew up in Gilded Vale. Same temple. <laughs> Diplomacy, perception. You can trust me, you know. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> it was real loud, what? too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. All right, so, uh, a little inappropriate there. Model's bright red and she turns away, hands covering her eyes. Okay, uh, that's, that's my favorite kind. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. <laughs> You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Find someone who might know Adair's friend. Well, seems like she should know, but I suppose not. You really didn't give me much to go on. Unless, you know, happen to find her in a very specific situation. Grog. Can never have too much Grog. Let's go in the Kraken's eye. Seems like there might be something useful there. Always check the pub, is what I have to say about RPGs like this. Alrighty. Hey guys. Nobody's named here except the barkeep. What do you have to say, buddy? Sorry, we haven't any rooms for you. Oh, okay. Guessing you're the one came in off that shipwreck down south. Not sure if that's good luck or bad, but here, I figure you deserve a drink. Got some ale. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Uh, what's this about the rooms? Pull up. You aren't the first outsider to turn up looking for a place to stay after their ride off the island ended up at the bottom of the sea. Oh man. Well, tell you what, I've got one room or two have been cleared out by now. Only the occupants decided to outstay his welcome. Mm. Real trouble is, he hasn't settled his bill. Gonna have to strong arm him. He's a merchant captain by the name of Galleon. I've given him a fair chance, but he's been a right prick about the whole thing. I've got a spare key here. You chase him and his pals off, and the room's yours. At a discount. Uh, what if he won't leave willingly? Oh, well, he's a prat, but he's not so tough. Smack him around if it comes down to it. But I figure a few sharp words ought to do the trick. What? No, no I said chase, I said him, chase off. him off, not, not kill, kill my, my patrons. patrons. Now I'm not so sure about asking you, honestly. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it, truly. I'll have someone tidy the place up for you once you're through. Chances are they've spilled ale just about everywhere. But I don't want the man dead, and that's not what I'm paying for. <laughs> just see him on his way and we'll call it done. All right. We'll see what we can do. Have you seen anyone cast like that? Sure. 
A weather mage is a useful person to have on a crew. But to tame a storm? That Juana woman frightens me. Hmm. What do we have here? Leave it to me. Does this hit? Well, thanks. Here's a lot of us stranded on this island. Yeah. Feel the same way, buddy. Oh, animancers. That don't sound good. Hey, dude. Ah, a new face. You heard, of course, that Norgund remains the most reliable and discreet supplier of mostly legitimate. Are you know. looking for something Not particularly. in particular? Uh, mostly legitimate. I am an honest merchant, sir. But I confess that the tools I supply have an unjustly sinister oh, okay. reputation. What have you got there? Mouth char. Minus 5% damage taken, plus 15% damage with weapons. Our shame is quite good. Uh, we don't have that kind of cash, though, to really invest in most of this stuff here. So. That's useful. Hello? Don't remember ordering more drinks. Thought I'd locked that thing. Uh... Thing is... The way doors work, right? And I realize this is complicated, is that you close them and then uninvited people stay on the other side. I, yeah, I get it, but the thing is, I've got the key, brother. I've got the key. Try not to slam the door on your way out, yeah? My head's going to pieces. Well, it's true, man. Uh, this place is a mess. Well, that's not nice. Things were real comfortable up until you turned up. <laughs> Did Thorol put you up to this? You really want to get your teeth kicked in on his behalf? Uh, you get really want the guards in here to throw you out on the street? I'm asking politely. Thorol said I could get rough. I had to. You can leave on your feet. Or get dragged out by your ankles. Your choice. Maybe we could share the room. I could settle your tab. Sculpt his confidence in a hurry. Alright, alright. <laughs> right. Keep your boots on. We're leaving. Thorol wants us out on the streets so bad. You serious, Galleon? Where are we supposed to go? Uh, not my problem. Ah, good. <clears throat> what do we got over here? Oh, that's wood. Open the door, dude. No problem. Let's get out of here. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Put it out the room, man. Hey, good work. Times like these, I can't afford to keep on anyone who can't pay their tab. The second word, the room's yours if you want it. And for a job well done, here's your pay. 1,200 copper. Very good. Uh, press the character button in the lower center of the screen. You see to bring up your character sheet. Select reputation to view your character's earned faction and community reputations. 
Factions will display how much positive reputation you have with a blue bar and how much negative with a red. For sure. Port Mage, we got one reputation. And it looks like everybody's got to level up. All right, so I've heard it's a good idea to get at least a tiny bit of athletics going to avoid tuckering out on the road. <clears throat> now let's go with history. Just to double down on what we're up to. We can pick one wizard ability. Oh, for each class we can pick one. Cool, cool. Additional weapon set. Eh. Not that interesting. Deflection, jolting touch. Which one's this one? I don't want Fan of Flames, Eldritch Aim, and Aware does what now? Plus five perception. I think that's a thing to get since we've got ranged weapon. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's one ability. Got it. Ranger and Animal Companion, Accuracy Bonus. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Explosives, I think, and... Intimidate. So we've got fighter stances. Defender is apt for holding fast against groups of enemies. Cleaving is effective if, like, when attacking several enemies at once. Warrior is best for standing toe to toe against a single enemy. Into the fray. We're not doing that, so. That's probably not a bad way to go. And yeah, let's get the stances. Two abilities. So do I already have some of these? Yeah. Summon weapon sickle and summon lantern. Pillar of face. Faith. Seems pretty good. Very good. There's automatic spell stuff. Slow moving energetic projection of re returning health to allies and inflicting freeze damage to enemies. Hmm. 
Resolute. That's not bad. Repulsing Seal. Fit. So let's get the Pillar of Faith. And also... Iconic Projection. This seems to be pretty good. Smart, giving the Juan all these guns? Why not? Well, just, they might use them? On each other, most likely. Fresh fish! Race you to the coral. No contest. I have many fish here to trade. I caught them myself. Let me see what you have. No thanks. I don't really need fish. You are a strange man. <clears throat> Me? We have supplies here for the paying customer. Provi I think we've done everything here. Well, maybe we haven't. Have we? I don't think I've gone to the jail. Let's just check it out and see. Maybe someone here will. Be interested in joining the party. Yes. What is it I can do for you? The watch commander looks at you after a list of screening and you notice that she has a dark bruise around one eye. Uh, how are things here in Port we Mage? Lost no one to the storm, but many homes have been damaged, and the people are terrified of this giant the scouts reported. Something you wanted? I don't see any guards yes, around. Thin. The storm speaker did much to help, but Who's much that? of the town has flooded. Now we are awash in homeless citizens and stranded merchants, to say nothing of the cultists out there. Now I have Ilari's people making uh -oh. trouble up on Gorechi Street. His little gang is looting everything they can get their hands on, and the Bozzo kicks up his heels like a prince. Lucky for you that I'm around. I Rum Dum Rajir. Uh, offer my services. Let me out and I will shot it, Rajiri. <laughs> uh, what happened what to you? What happened? I showed the drunken fool more patience and respect than he deserved, and he struck me without warning. Sientere, Savia. You know that I was aiming for Darmo's pretty face. We'll speak to Ilaria. I cannot say it would not be welcome, but you are only recently arrived, and not I here by choice. Why do this? Uh. <clears throat> what should we say? And you are a sensible man, I see. Fair enough. Gorechi Street is in the western part of town. Just walk until you hit water. We don't need a bloodbath. I'm sure there's a peaceful sol- Certainly. That's my speciality. Sure. Not sure why you just let, let me take their stuff. Let's go. Um, I suppose maybe this is the place.
We'll do. We'll help you out. You have to do something. Any of us could be next. Oh, I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Mestre. Hello. Per complanca. Don't tell me you're here to complain to the virus. Are they recruiting right off of the docks? You would think the Juana were storming the Kraken's eye as we speak. Uh, I was hoping you might be a... What's going on? A fight, Mestre. One of the Juana women attacked the merchant. He has come out the worst for it. Now every nationality in town wets himself in terror of losing his coin to the Almada. Nosy person. We would bring in the thief, but Clario would not have us march into the village and defend Ikawa. Much longer, and I do not think any of us will have a choice in the matter. If you wanted the details of it, speak to Rinko himself. He will deliver. Okay. We'll head on in then. Hello. I'm keeping Papa company till he's better. Uh, who's there? It's a me. Tori, is that you? Who are you? Wait, who are you? Severely beaten. I know exactly <laughs> how he feels. Not beat up a lot of folks just the same way. Chanti lifts her gin in interest. Uh, come to laugh? Madiko, this would not have stood in Ozia. In Ozia, there'd be a crowd in here to taunt you. Rico barks a short laugh and immediately winces. Shanti nibbles on her lips, hiding a spreading smile. Maybe you are right. So you are visiting. What do you want? And what happened? Iswana. They are an unreasonable people. I was enjoying. I had not spoken a word to her. The mad devil. Look what she did to me. My ear. When the fighting is over, she takes my coin purse and strides away. Bold as anything. <laughs> what is that? You should always ditch the jewelry before a fight. So you lost a bar fight. No need to whine about it. Shoddery. <laughs> This woman attacks me without provocation and suffers no cons. The governor lets the Juana do as they please, and this is the result. I should be out there, helping to find our people. My wife, Zenetta, she... She is out there, and I... Listen, I am without other means. What's going she on here? my coin purse, my wages. How am I to pay the governor? How am I to feed my son? That woman should be in the stocks. Guards do nothing, but you, you've heard me out at least. Do me the kindness of retrieving uh, that where should I purse. start? They call her Mokeha. I imagine she is back in her village, feeling proud of herself, no doubt. Follow the road as it bends straw. north, then west. You can't miss it. A pile of sticks and straw. Very good. It's like I can take your stuff, apparently. Leave it to me. I'm an awful person. Sure. But we gotta keep the crew fed, you know. So I suspect that both of these locations are actually different uh, points in the map. So we'll go check it out. Oh! Use that to port shop and resupply your ship. Food, and we have medicine, ammunition, repair, 
Corral. All right, well, let's go to Gorechi Street. Very cool. As you make your way along through the side streets of Port Mage, you come upon visible traces of storms passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass a narrow street strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt, prolonging your ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. Most of Port Mage's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead, the occasional splash suggests you are not entirely alone. <laughs> Look at that! That's a beautiful animation there. What do you got there? Steal your clothes. Oh, hey guys. All right. A dare. Bear can go there. And we'll let the priest do her thing. Like that. Aha. Recasting. I don't know that we need that, to be honest. So is this self-targeted? Yeah. Nice. Oh, we found a hidden object because of uh, our spell increasing our perception. Whoa, where'd you come from? Wait, is the bear down? <gasps> no! Can you heal him? Probably not. Nice hit. Let's do this. Is he down or dead? Oh. Oh, we can't run, of course, in this. Uh, what do we got here? Protective Eothesian Charm. Mother of Pearl. The charm uh, gives you Darkest Before Dawn plus one perception. Ability activates when near death or grants Darkest Before Dawn. All right, so that's pretty nice to have. Keep yourself from dying. Well, actually, let's give that to him. Oh, you already have something here. Is this only, uh, only there? Pistols. Think it suits me? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, friend. I can't. 
sure. Gems, hunting bell. Hatchet, potion. Dead person. Excuse me, bear. Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. Turns out there's a lot that they don't tell you. You seem to know where you are going. Watcher, you're talking to a lost soul, aren't you? I'll just shine them the light real quick. The lantern rattles as Zanti swings it overzealously between you, siphoning the spirit's essence. Eh? No problem. Well, that's useful, rather than just having them follow me around. Are you just a regular old dude? Oh, guys. I missed one. Arc bus. So an arc bus. <coughs> got, got it. Hello. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. But you, you are quite blinding. It's the last thing you remember. Pain. I came to help one of the traders gather her belongings. Then other men came. They struck me over and over. Is that why I cannot see? I'm sorry, but you're dead. Come with me. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. Let me ease this one's pain, Watcher. Thanks. What do we have here? That can't be everything. Oh, here we are. Hey, man. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you've found it. Drops the pistol at his belt. What are you doing here? Ecosi, this is my street. That doesn't change after a little rain. That storm speaker, she didn't concern herself much with this place, did she? Me and my gang, we keep the peace here. Mm. And the locals pay their dues. Nothing here now but what they left behind. Uh, put a stop to the looting. She must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself. But she sent you. No, no. sense in ruining a cut. There's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Help her out this once and Savia will owe you a favor. A favor? 
Merle, I should buy a dinner. <laughs> Maybe. Done. I'll do it. Bon piaco. Can't be too bad, having a commander in your pocket. Tell Xavier this isn't permanent. Second the water clears up and things are back to normal, we're through. I'll spread the word. Gorecci Street is under a lawful protection now. Well, you see, we come to an understanding. Let's go. But uh, I'm also recording here for YouTube, so we'll be ending this episode. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.